The execution of a convicted murderer in Missouri is on hold this morning amid the growing debate over lethal injection. Jan Crawford is in Washington where the Supreme Court granted a last minute stay. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So the justice has stopped this execution last night, sent the case back to the lower court. That doesn't happen that often in these kind of cases, and it could affect other death penalty cases. Now, in this case, Russell Bucklew was convicted of fatally shooting a Missouri man back in 96 and then raping and kidnapping a woman. His lawyers are arguing that Missouri's method of lethal injection is cruel and inhumane. They say he has this rare congenital disor disorder that has weakened his blood vessels and would make any lethal injection excruciatingly painful. But here's why it could have a broader impact, Nora and Charlie. It comes when lethal injections are under intense scrutiny. There was a botched execution in Oklahoma last month. That left a condemned killer basically writhing for 40 minutes before he died of a heart attack. Now, lethal injection is the most common form of execution. It's used in all 32 states with the death penalty. It was upheld as constitutional six years ago by the Supreme Court. But here's the problem. Lately, the lethal drugs have been increasingly difficult to get because the companies that make them, they're mostly in Europe, are refusing to supply them for executions, which is forcing states to experiment with other drugs. Now, it's unclear at this point how the Supreme Court's order is going to affect these executions in other states, but it will probably give them pause, I think, until this issue is finally resolved. Nora? No doubt, Jan. Thank you.